हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ अशोक बगड़ा फ्रॉम डॉक्टर सुभाष टेक्निकल कैंपस एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सोल्व सम एग्जांपल बेस्ड ऑन नेचुरल फ्रीक्वेंसी सो लेट अस स्टार्ट सम एग्जांपल बेस्ड ऑन नेचुरल फ्रीक्वेंसी सो फर्स्ट एग्जांपल फाइंड द नेचुरल फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ सिस्टम एज शोन इन फिगर फाइंड द नेचुरल फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ सिस्टम एज शोन इन फिगर सो हियर आवर सिस्टम इज गिवन देयर इज वन पुली इट इज कनेक्टेड वन मास इज अटैच टू द स्ट्रिंग and this string is wound around the pulley pulley is connected with a, a spring having stiffness is k so this is our and we want to determine the natural frequency of this system so if mass m is displaced we can say that if mass m will move in this direction if mass m is displaced through a small linear distance x from then the pulley will rotate and through an angle theta as shown in figure so here we can say that this is the equilibrium position This is the equilibrium position. A uh, spring having k is stiffness, pulley having mass is capital M, and small m is a mass attached to the end of spring. So, if mass m is displaced through a small linear distance x, then what happens? Then we can say that pulley rotate through an angle theta. So, then pulley rotate through an angle theta. So, we can say that here the linear displacement x is equal to r theta. So, from figure we can say that the angular displacement of pulley is theta. so angular velocity is theta dot and angular acceleration of pulley is theta double dot the linear displacement of mass is x linear velocity of mass is x dot so we can say that x dot is equal to r into theta dot and linear acceleration of mass is equal to x double dot is equal to r into theta so first we use equilibrium method so this problem we solve by using two method first is the equilibrium method so from figure the consider considering linear motion of mass according to the dia lambert principle inertia forces plus sectional forces summation of inertia forces plus sectional forces zero then we can say that our system is in equilibrium condition so here the inertia forces inertia forces is always acting in the opposite direction to the motion of body so mass is moving in downward direction so inertia force m x double dot is acting in upward direction so inertia force plus here the force is acting this force is known as a t so it is a tension force so in a string some tension is happen so this tension is acting in also you can say that mx double dot plus t is equal to zero so we get traction force uh, tension force or a tension is equal to minus mx double dot considering rotary motion of pulley if we consider rotary motion here we have considered linear motion now we consider rotary motion so rotary motion it is also according to the Uh, the element principle summation of inertia torque plus external torque is zero then we can say that our system is in equilibrium so inertia torque from the figure we can say that the inertia torque is always acting in the direction opposite direction to the motion so our pulley is rotating in clockwise direction so inertia force will be acting in anti clockwise direction so inertia force is i o into theta double dot plus spring having some stiffness is k so also some torque is also acting here so kr kx is a stiffness force force into distance it is a torque so here we write kx into r so kr into theta so considering rotary motion of pulley so according to the dia lambert principle summation of inertia torque plus external torque is zero then we can say that our system is said to be in a equilibrium so inertia torque so as shown in figure so pulley is rotating in clockwise direction so in anti clockwise direction inertia torque is acting so here inertia torque is i o into theta double dot so we put the value i o into theta double dot plus external torque so there are two external torque one external torque is because of the spring force so because of kx and another is because of this inertia force that means because of this uh, tension so tension t into r it is a torque acting in downward direction and this torque acting in this direction so we put kr into theta so kr into theta is a steep a uh, spring force so spring force into radius is a acting in anti clockwise direction and tension into radius is acting in clockwise direction so we take uh, negative sign is equal to zero so finally io into theta double dot plus k r square into theta plus m x double dot so here we put the value of tension 
torque is equal to value of torque is equal to m x double dot into r is equal to 0. So, I O theta double dot plus k r square into theta plus m r square into theta double dot because we know that x double dot is equal to r into theta double dot. So, if we take a common theta double dot then we get in a bracket I O plus m r square bracket complete into theta double dot plus k r square into theta is equal to 0. So, now we put the value of mass moment of inertia. So, fully having mass moment of inertia is 1 half m r square. So, in a bracket 1 half capital M r square plus small m r square bracket complete into theta double dot plus k r square into theta is equal to 0. So, if we take a common theta double dot, so here the r square we uh, consider theta double dot plus in bracket k r square upon 1 half capital M r square plus small m r square bracket complete into theta is equal to 0. So, here r square is common in uh, numerator and denominator. So, finally, we get theta double dot plus in bracket capital K divided by capital M by 2 plus small m bracket complete into theta is equal to 0. Now, comparing this equation, comparing this equation with a fundamental equation of simple harmonic motion, we get omega n square is equal to capital K by in a bracket capital M plus small m bracket complete. So, omega n is equal to root in a root capital K divided by capital M by 2 plus small m. So, natural frequency we know that is equal to 2 omega n upon 2 pi. So, f n is equal to 1 upon 2 pi in a root k by capital M by 2 plus small m in hertz. So, this is the natural frequency of this given system. Now, we derive this same equation by using energy method. So, we know that a mass having linear motion. So, linear kinetic energy of mass is 1 half m x dot square. So, we can that say that x dot is r into theta dot. So, is equal to 1 half m r square into theta dot square. Now, pulley having rotary motion, pulley. So, kinetic energy of rotary pulley. So, kinetic energy of pulley. So, pulley having rotary motion. So, is equal to 1 half i o into omega square. So, 1 half i o into theta dot square. So, theta dot is a ang angular velocity. So, potential potential energy of spring. So, we know that potential energy 1 half k x square. So, 1 half k r square into theta dot square theta square. So, total kinetic energy we can say that total kinetic energy is 1 half m r square theta dot square plus 1 half i o into theta dot square and total potential energy is equal to 1 half k r square into theta square. So, according to the energy method, so kinetic energy plus potential energy is constant. So, if we make a derivation of kinetic energy plus potential energy, then its derivation becomes 0. So, d by dt in bracket kinetic energy plus potential energy bracket complete is equal to 0. So, if you put the value of kinetic energy and potential energy, so d by dt in bracket 1 half m r square theta dot square plus 1 half i o into theta dot square plus 1 half k r square into theta square is equal to 0. So, um, if we make a derivation of this equation, then 1 half 2 is as it is, m r square is also constant. So, theta dot square is a variable. So, the derivation of theta dot square is 2 theta dot into theta double dot plus 1 half i o into 2 theta dot into theta double dot plus 1 half k r square into 2 theta into theta dot is equal to 0. Now, in this uh, equation, theta dot is common. So, we can say that and also if we simplify this equation, then we get m r square into theta double dot plus 1 half m r square capital m r square into theta double dot plus k r square is equal to k r square into theta is equal to 0. So, we get m into theta double dot plus capital M by 2 into theta double dot plus k into theta is equal to 0. So, if we take a common theta double dot is common, so then we get in a bracket m by 2 plus small m bracket complete into theta double dot plus k into theta is equal to 0. So, if we rearrange this equation, so theta double dot is equal to k capital K by capital M by 2 plus small m bracket complete into theta is equal to 0. If we compare this equation with simple harmonic motion, then we get omega n square is equal to capital K divided by capital M plus capital M by 2 plus m. So, omega n is equal to under root capital K divided by capital M by 2 plus m. So, natural frequency we get omega n upon 2 pi. So, 
एफ एन इज इक्वल वन अपॉन टू फाइन रूट कैपिटल के डिवाइडेड बाय कैपिटल एम बाय टू प्लस स्मॉल एम इन हर्ट सो दिस इज अ नेचुरल फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ गिवन सिस्टम एंड दिस इक्वेशन वी हैव डिराइड बाय यूजिंग एनर्जी मेथड नाउ लेट अस सी अनदर एग्जांपल फाइंड द नेचुरल फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ सिस्टम एज शोन इन फिगर सो हियर अनदर सिस्टम इज गिवन बट हियर देयर आर टू पुली इज गिवन वन पुली हैविंग रेडियस इज कैपिटल आर एंड अनदर पुली हैविंग रेडियस इज स्मॉल आर ओके द मास ऑफ दिस पुली मास ऑफ दिस इज अ कंपाउंड पुली so this pulley is also connected with this pulley the total mass of this pulley is capital m and small m is attached at the end of string and this string is bound around the smaller uh, step of pulley and uh, one another string is bound around the larger step of pulley so string having stiffness is k so this is a system now this is equilibrium condition now we consider the mass m is This is equilibrium condition. Now let us consider mass m is displaced through x1 distance, and because of that, a spring is displaced through a x2. So angular displacement of pulley is theta. Linear displacement of mass is x1. Linear velocity of mass is x1. We know that x1 is equal to r into small r because the smaller pulley is having angular rotation is theta the rotation of angular uh, smaller pulley because of the mass small mass is theta so here we write x1 dot is equal to r into theta dot and x1 is equal to r theta so linear acceleration of mass is x1 double dot is equal to r into theta double dot now deflection of spring x2 x2 is nothing but it is equal to capital r into theta so first we see the equilibrium method from figure the considering linear motion of linear motion so inertia force plus external force should be zero so inertia force because of mass is mx double dot acting in upward direction and another tension in a string is acting in downward direction so mx mx1 double dot plus capital t is equal to zero so capital t is equal to we get minus mx1 double dot considering rotary motion of pulley so according to the d'alembert principle inertia torque plus external torque summation of this two torque is equal to zero so inertia torque of the pulley is io into theta double dot plus another torque is capital k r into theta into capital r plus kt into theta so this kt is a stiffness of rotary rot uh, torsional stiffness into theta minus capital t into r is equal to 0 if we simplify this equation then we get io plus mr square bracket into theta double dot plus bracket capital k r square plus capital kt bracket complete into theta is equal to 0 so finally we if we simplify the equation then we get theta double dot plus in a bracket capital k r square plus capital kt divided by capital mr square By two plus small m r square bracket complete into theta is equal to zero. If we compare this equation with simple harmonic motion equation, then we get omega n square is equal to k r square plus k t divided by m r square by two plus m r square. So natural frequency is equal to f n is equal to one upon two pi under root k r square plus k t divided by m r square by two plus m r square. So this is the natural frequency of system. and we have derived this equation by using equilibrium method now let us derive same equation by using now let us derive same equation by using energy method so we know that the kinetic energy of mass is 1/2 m x1 dot square so 1/2 m r square into theta dot square kinetic energy of pulley so pulley having rotary motion so is equal to 1/2 io into theta I O into theta double theta dot square. So is equal to if you put the value of I O is equal to one by two m r square. Then I O is equal to one half m r square. So is equal to one by four m capital M capital R square into theta dot square. The potential energy of spring is equal to one half k x two square. So one half k capital K r square into theta dot square theta square. So this is the total energy. 
kinetic energy and this is a total potential energy. So, according to the energy method, we know that total energy is constant. So, if we make a derivation of total energy, then we get 0. So, d by dt in bracket kinetic energy plus potential energy is equal to 0. So, d by dt, if we put the value of kinetic energy plus potential energy, so d by dt in bracket 1 half small mr square into theta dot square plus 1 half 1 by 4 capital M capital R square into theta dot square plus 1 half 2 1 half capital K capital R square into theta square is in a bracket is equal to 0. If you make a derivation then 1 half m r square and the theta dot square having derivation is 2 theta dot into theta double dot plus 1 by 4 capital M capital R square 2 theta dot into theta double dot plus 1 by 2 capital K capital R square into 2 theta into theta dot is equal to 0. If we simplify this equation, then we get theta double dot plus in a bracket capital K capital R square divided by capital M capital R square divided by 2 plus small m small r square bracket complete into theta is equal to 0. If we compare this equation with simple harmonic motion, then we get omega n square is equal to capital K capital R square divided by capital M capital R square divided by 2 plus m r square. So, omega n is equal to inner root capital K into capital R square divided by capital M capital R square by 2 plus m r square. So, finally, we get natural frequency is equal to 1 upon 2 pi under root capital K into capital R square divided by m r square by 2 plus small m r square in a. Thank you.